thought I'd do uh, another video update walkthrough of the greenhouse. Been about a uh, month and almost a month and a half of growing. What I did is I took out one rail, moved the plants around because these were getting so big. Here's the tomatoes. We have three early girl tomatoes, bush variety. They don't look too much like a bush. They're coming in here. And then the bell peppers in the back row here are still growing strong, except for one. That one right there just has not grown much at all. The Carmen I moved to the front, and it's doing much better. I've also removed the two bush cucumbers. It was just too hard to hand pollinate them. They're just so tight and small. So I'm going to move them into a DWC bucket outside and hopefully they will uh, do well out there with some bees. Also I had an accident with a couple of the squashes. I'll go over that in a blog post in the future. But I got this one here that is from seed. And I put them up on strings to keep them from falling over. That's what happened to the other ones. And they're doing quite well. That one's going to be picked tonight or tomorrow night, and I got a few more coming in here. So the zucchini is coming in well. When I move the third rail out, I move the Brussels sprouts over here to their own DWC buckets, and they're doing well. I'll also strung them up. They'll be getting to be about four feet high. Finished wrapping the reservoirs. Put the temp down. Yesterday it reached 102 outside, so it's quite warm in here. Over here we have uh, two types of cherry tomatoes, and I forget. One's a uh, Juliet cherry, and the other one is a pear uh, yellow type of cherry. I forget which, I'll have to look it up. And then we have our yellow pear tomato going well here. Move two other Brussels sprouts over here temporarily. I'm probably going to give those away. And the strawberries that were in the rail are doing well. And then the cucumbers. I had to start over on the cucumbers because I had a failure on the system, which I'll go over another time on the blog, but I'm not quite liking the flexible hosing as a supply line. So that might get changed out later. Again, wrapped up the reservoirs for temperature. Installed an exhaust fan, shade cloth that I can stretch over to both sides if I want to. The lettuces have been going really nice. I'm going to be harvesting more here this week and changing it to uh, butter crunch is the next batch going to come in here. And this was an experiment. I just threw a clipping in here about week and uh, a half, maybe two weeks ago, and it's got lots of roots. I don't know what I'm going to do with this one yet. If somebody wants it locally, they can have it. Ah, get the roots back in there. And up here I have cilantro coming in. Down here I have uh, romaine, and I have more in the cedar that will fill up the pots. Kale growing quite nicely. And in the very top, we moved basil in this week. These uh, five pots here are lemon basil. I think I had one pretty much die. I don't, I don't hold out hope for it, but like I said, we had 100 degrees here yesterday, so don't know if that's going to make it. And over here is cinnamon basil. And again, we had another one that is not going to make it, but I have more in the cedar. They seem to be going quite well. So that's it for our uh, walkthrough number three. Oh, I also put up real quick in the back. I, you can see I put up some chicken wire for the tomatoes. I did the same thing here when I moved it. So they're growing quite well. Let's fertilize these guys. So like I said, that's it for update number three. And I'll update you again in another week or so. Take care.